All right, you guys, today's the day. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about this one. All right, I just arrived at my local AMC for an advanced screening of Disney's new live action Aladdin. And naturally, I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. See you in about, eh, say, two hours. And now that we're home, let's talk some movies. All right, so I just got home from my uh, advanced screening of Aladdin. And me oh my, have I been through a journey with this movie. Um, Aladdin always was, probably always will be, my favorite Disney movie of all time. So naturally, I was very excited when they announced it was gonna be getting the live action treatment. I thought Jungle Book was absolutely genius. I thought Cinderella was incredibly entertaining. I was excited. And then they announced Guy Ritchie as the director. I think Guy Ritchie's a genius, which by the way, he killed it in this movie once again, by the way. And then they casted Will Smith. And that, that got a lot of internet controversy because it's not the late great Joe Robin Williams. I don't think anybody could be. Naturally, this was prone to internet hate. Honestly, there's no way around it. I was hoping as an Aladdin fan that they were gonna flip that hate and give us an amazing first trailer. That teaser, the teaser was wonderful. The trailer, where they showed Blue Genie, unfinished, was horrendous. So when I got this advanced screening, I went in with very, very mixed feelings. I was hoping to like it. I really was. And I'll tell you what, it wasn't bad. I had a good time. This is the Latin story told for the modern age. It really was. Make no mistake, Will Smith is playing the genie. He's not doing a Robin Williams impersonation, so it is not the same genie. But it is genie. If Robin Williams was jazz, Will Smith is hip hop. They have a very different style, but both are welcomed. Both are cool. Uh, as for the newcomers, um, the girl who played Jasmine absolutely kills it. She's another highlight for me. There's a new song that they wrote just for this movie and it's called uh, Silent. If this movie catches on, like I'm hoping it does, Silent could be the next Let It Go. The newcomer who plays Aladdin was also very strong. I don't think that he was the greatest actor. He makes up for in this crazy, insane choreography I mean, he knew how to move. He could fight well, he could dance well. There's an insane dance number in the middle, by the way. Jafar, unfortunately, might be the weakest link. There were some things that he did very well, some things that were very sinister. That being said, I do think he was the weakest actor of the bunch. The music was wonderful. They took the Aladdin beat, they took the Aladdin sound that you're used to, that you love, and they modernized it. And they made it go with Will Smith's new invigorated hip-hop sound. And honestly, I was tapping my feet, I was enjoying it. I was 
really, really liking it, especially when you get to the whole new world scene, which they knock out of the ballpark. By the way, as for CGI, ILM absolutely kills it. There are some things that aren't perfect. I think Raja didn't look insanely realistic, but overall, they did a good job. There's also a brand new character played by a um, Nassim Petram from um, SNL. She was also very entertaining. Um, I wasn't sure about new characters, but very entertaining. I'm not gonna give too much away because I don't wanna give in, get into spoilers here. Don't get me wrong though, really enjoyed it. As I enjoyed the movie overall, Ignore the internet hate. This movie is a good movie. If you enjoy Aladdin, chances are you'll probably like this as well. Go out and see it. And when you do, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. In the meantime though, go ahead and subscribe down below for weekly adventures. Ring that little bell icon for notifications on every single episode, and good night.